Good morning. I'm meteorologist Katherine Maxwell. Along with that wintry mess we saw yesterday, there was actually an earthquake reported last night about nine kilometers north northeast of Richlands, Virginia. This was a 2.9 magnitude, so pretty weak, but this was at about 11 p.m. last night. So if you felt it, let us know. We are seeing that most of that precipitation is trying to head off towards the east. Throughout today, we could still have a stray rain, a little bit of freezing drizzle, maybe even some snow flurries still possible. But for the most part, we're looking at a much drier day for us today as the system continues to push most of that precipitation on over to the east. We are running into a few nuisances this morning. Roadways for some are looking pretty bad. Some slick spots, some black ice are all possible. Now for Pocahontas, Fayette, Raleigh, Wyoming, McDowell, and Buchanan counties, the winter weather advisory will continue until 10 a.m. this morning for Tazewell, Mercer, Summers, Greenbrier, Monroe, Giles, Bland, and Wyth counties. This advisory will continue until 12 o'clock this afternoon. So need to be aware of some hazardous travel this morning, mainly in the form of that black ice and some slick spots out there. Temperatures now starting us off in the 20s and the 30s. We have 28 degrees in Berks Garden. That's the same thing in Pipestem. 30 degrees this morning in Princeton and 26 in Renau. Our high temperatures today will be in the 30s and the 40s. We still have a 20% chance, as you can see, throughout much of the day today for a little bit of precipitation. That's where that stray shower is possible. Most of us, though, should be dry with cloudy skies. We'll keep up with the cloud cover even during the overnight hours tonight, but we are looking fairly dry tonight. We do have another system tomorrow that's going to bring us another chance for mostly rain and freezing rain. So a little bit of wintry precipitation yet again will be with us for Saturday. I do think future cast though is lacking on our precipitation potential. I think we'll be a little bit more wet than what that's showing. Here's the European model, for instance. This is showing a better chance for widespread rain and freezing rain over our area for Saturday. Most of the freezing rain actually is going to be confined a little bit east outside of our viewing area, but we could still have some ice accumulation Saturday and into Sunday. I'm thinking less than a tenth of an inch of ice, so a glaze of ice is possible, but need to be aware that we could still be dealing with some slick issues out there. As we are looking into Sunday for Valentine's Day, still we're calling for rain and freezing rain. Monday, same thing, another wintry mix is possible. Even on Tuesday, we're still calling for a wintry mix. By Wednesday, right now, we don't have any precipitation chances, but then by Thursday, looks like they'll wrap back up again. So we are staying quite unsettled for the next few days. Today, we could still see a couple of stray showers, but for the most part, we're looking more, more dry today than what we have been previously seeing.